I wanted to put some of that stuff up front so that you see what you probably came here to see, which is how does this prop actually work? Does it actually perform like a typical mini quad prop? So I got this prop about a week and a half ago and I was super, super intrigued and super excited to see this prop because I know that Dahl has been working on it for quite some time. And I think it's very time appropriate in an age when we have folding phones, folding tablets, various folding devices, governments are folding, economies are folding, and now we have folding five inch props. Of course, this isn't a new concept and there was, there's nothing really original about folding props. They've been around for a long time. Uh, cinematic quads or just the big giant floaty things, <laughs> they've been having folding props forever. And uh, what really clued me into folding props for our mini quads is actually this prop. I have used larger props that are folding, but I never thought to think about folding props in mini quads. So this is the Lumineer 6.7 inch folding prop. And this prop was, or the mold, the concept was originally designed for one of those Kickstarter drones, but they actually, they didn't repurpose it, they redesigned it for FPV quads. And they came out with this prop. This is a 6.7 inch prop that weighs 7.2, 7.1, 7.2 grams, which puts it in the six inch weight class, but it's a 6.7 inch prop. And I know what you're thinking, it's the same thing I used to think. How on earth can a prop like this, this big, this kind of a prop, be so light with all this hub plastic? I mean, there's like a lot of material in this center. How is it, how is it so light? I still can't really answer that question, but you're, you're seeing it yourself. And what really surprised me about this prop is, even though it's made from this glass nylon material, which we tend to prefer for flight performance, but there aren't really many props or any props made from this material anymore, what really surprised me about this prop is that not only is it lighter than expected, it has a faster response than expected as well, and it is exceptionally smooth. It's not a fast prop because it has a very shallow pitch on it, but it is a surprisingly good performer. The link to this to the video about this prop is in the description below, but it's a really cool prop. So after testing that prop, I started looking around for five inch folding props and I found one. And I don't know where I put it, I just moved so I can't find anything. Uh, I still have them, I just don't know where they are. And I found these super bull nose props and got a set and tried them and to my surprise, even though they weighed like five, six grams, something really heavy, they performed fine. As you, I mean, I don't know why I thought otherwise. <laughs> Obviously, they're going to perform fine. They're a five-inch prop that's made to fold. It probably com comes from a company that knows how to balance a prop, and it's easier to balance the props now that you can use the same mold for all three props. So you just have to balance the hub. Anyways, moving on. That prop was great, and what I noticed about that prop was that it was surprisingly more responsive than it should be for a prop that is Super Bowl nose heavier than I would want a prop to be on a motor that's probably smaller than it would benefit from having a prop that's so big. You know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, fast forward to today, and this is the prop that Dahl came out with, and I gave this a try, gave this a test, and uh, I'll be totally frank, totally unadulterated opinion. The prop has surprisingly good <laughs> good performance. It's not is not in any way a negative performing prop. It performs just like any other modern prop today. However, it does have some shortcomings, which I'll get to. But the blade itself is based on um, the Spitfire blade. And if you take a look at the pitch of the blade, it looks like it's, I don't know what the specs are on the prop, but it looks like it's a little bit steeper than the 51433. And the weight on this prop is 4.2, 4.3 grams which is quite impressive for a prop that has all this hub, all this, all this mechanism built into it. So I'll talk about it a little bit more, but overall, I think that this is a phenomenal start in folding props for mini quads. I think Dahl did an incredibly impressive job getting it together, and honestly so quickly, because I now understand, well, not now, I've, I've understood it for a while now, it takes a long time to develop anything in this industry. I know it seems like things come out so quickly, but in reality, it really does take a long time to get this stuff out the door from idea to actually creating a product. And they rushed this real fast. And so there is a lot of room for improvement. This is really just a test. And this is the test to the market to see if they'll accept folding props, if they want folding props. I, I'll talk about that more later. But basically, I think that this is a great start. I think there's a lot of room for improvement. 
things that they can improve. They can make the hub a little bit smaller. We don't really need the props to fold this much. They can fold a little bit less. If you take a look at this one, the hub is actually a little bit smaller and um, the props don't quite fold in on them quite as much. I think this is totally fine. Even less than this would be fine as well. And uh, yeah, that's the number one thing I would do. Make the blade a little bit longer, make the hub a little bit smaller. And the hub also needs to change. They do have plans to make the hub uh, assemblable so that you can actually actually replace or change blades. Maybe it's for a replacement purpose, maybe it's for a design purpose because now you can have three blades that are three different colors plus a different color hub which is pretty cool. Not really a necessary function but hey it's cool to have. And so there's other areas that they can improve as well. But the blade itself is I mean, the, the, you, you wouldn't even believe it if you held it, that it's 4.3 grams and it has the same blade feeling durability as any other polycarbonate prop that you've held. Of course, it's not going to be super thick as some of those 5, 7 gram whatever racing props that some people love running because they're so durable. However, I'm going to make a little bit of a prediction here and I'm going to guess that in pretty short order, probably in 6 to 10 months or so, I would say that folding props will probably be the default prop being run in races because in my testing just basic testing i'm not presenting everything here i'm seeing some really impressive durability from this prop in a number of ways that i didn't even consider before so there's a list in the description below of all the potential benefits that i could think of for folding blades but i'll go over a couple of them that are most that stand out the most to me and surprisingly of all things i would say the convenience of having a quad that has props that fold in on itself as if it has no props is the number one reason why i want folding props because i'm always traveling with my quads i'm always throwing them around and i don't need to worry about bending a blade or having the, the the size of the quad not fitting in a bag or assembling my props to go fly or it takes a little bit of extra anxiety or work or just annoyance out of dealing with the quad that truly is the number one thing for me for racers however the durability is really going to be number one one thing i noticed about this i didn't show everything i'm not again not presenting everything here a lot to be discussed about this prop is that when you come down on a blade on this particular prop, you tend to not bend the blade. It kind of comes down and just folds out of the way if you come down on it in a way that allows it to fold. Now, it's not like it's never going to happen. Obviously, you can, you can bend the blade, but it's also a lot more difficult, especially in such a dynamic environment as a mini quad crash. So that's great. Also... This particular quad, for some reason, the turtle mode doesn't actually invert the rotation of the of the motors. I don't know why. But the prop does, it does turtle totally fine. And in fact, I think it turtles better because the blades fold. So another major, major advantage to this kind of a system or this, these folding props is that your quad is extremely unlikely to get caught up in trees and branches due to the props getting caught on things. Now, it's not going to be impossible, but with these folding blades, you're much more likely, and I have tested this, I just haven't shown it, much more likely to get it to fall out of the tree by just spinning up the motors. And so that's fantastic. It's much less like to get, likely to get caught up on things as well when you're trying to uh, launch. The motor will have the, the torque to be able to just fold the blade back and it'll just keep spinning. So you can throw it in a pile of grass and it'll still be able to get off the ground as long as it's not getting grass stuck up in the motor, in the actual rotation of the motor. Those are pretty much the biggest benefits to me. There are some other benefits as well. It could be safer if you did hit a soft target, but um, 
I'm not going to test that <laughs> right now at least. And yeah, there's there's a, a number of other advantages to this prop. It's really interesting, really interesting. We're going to get a test batch at FPV Cycle. I'm sure other, other uh, shops are going to be getting these props as well. I do think it needs to be tested heavily, and, I, and I, I think there's a lot of room for improvement, like I said. But this prop performs surprisingly well, and I think it is 100% worth your time, worth your uh, efforts to give this a try because it is just so interesting. Thank you so much for Dahl for listening, and uh, listening a lot, and attempting something so different and so new. I presented this concept and this idea to the three big prop manufacturers, starting with HQ, I, I, before I told them, before I even made the video, I told, before I even tried the five inch folding prop, I went to HQ, I went to Zong and I said, or Zong, I said, hey, you should really consider folding props. We haven't had any kind of new prop development in quite some time. And this would be a great thing. If nothing else, at least it's different. It's worth experimenting because you guys experiment a lot on props. I mean, they're making props for motors that don't even exist. And why not experiment on something that's super interesting and has potentially some potential? And um, I went to GemFan. I don't know if they're working on it, but they definitely heard me. And maybe they are working on something. I just don't know about it yet. And then I went to Dahl as well. And I told them and they jumped right on it. And so this is what we have today. So again, thank you so much, Dahl, for kicking it off. They they started the industry off with their indestructible props, as in they made a name for themselves with the original indestructible prop, and now we have all polycarbonate style props that are all quote unquote indestructible. So Dahl is still pushing the boundaries kind of where it counts. They Thanks. Thanks to Dahl. That's all for now. Floss your teeth, be safe, take care, bye.